Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Eugene Chenderov from This and That Games, and we'll be looking at most glorious comrade and most incorruptible patriot. Well yeah, go a little closer to see those boxes there. All right. Uh, and these are separate games, but yes. can be combined. That is In correct. certain ways. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what is going on with the, with the games? Yes. So. Each player uh, is playing a Cold War leader either on the Communist side or on the Democratic side. Okay. Um, on the Communist side, we have Chairman Mao, Chairman Mao, Vladimir Lenin, Trotsky, Stalin, Fidel Castro, and Che Guevara. Okay. Uh, you start with two million proletariat, and you're trying to get to a total of ten million. Okay. And this is a draw one, play one style game. Okay. Um, about a third of the deck is actions, and two-thirds are proletariat cards. The action cards do all sorts of wacky things. Uh, redistributing everyone's proletariat is my favorite action card. Uh, you can accuse people of being a Menshevik, uh, and then they have to get rid of some of their proletariat. Okay. And uh, it's... It was the first game that we made, and as a matter of fact, it was a finalist in the 2015 Board Game Geek Micro Game Competition. Uh, we expanded the game to be a full card game from the micro game that it started as. Okay. It's interesting how things change, right? Yes. You start, start exploring and dig, you get feedback from other people, yes. and it, things change. It worked a lot better as a full card game. Okay. And so then, since we did the uh, communist side of the Cold War, we decided to do the democratic side as well. Okay. And these play the same way? Are you just changing, changing yes. the faces, or are there actually different actions as well? Uh, each, what you're doing? every single leader has a different ability in the game. Okay. Uh, some of them are similar, some are very different. Richard Nixon's ability is to steal cards out of the hands of his opponents. Okay. Um, and... Uh, in fact, this game is a little more complicated with the addition of public figures, which are citizens. Uh, so you play them in front of you just as you would uh, point scoring cards, but they don't give you points. They instead have an ongoing effect that starts on the following turn. Okay. All right. So it has more board control aspects on the first game, which is just trying to get to 10 million and doing all sorts of crazy things to your opponents. Right. And they mix together as well. Yes, they so do. So you do, you do both. Okay. Uh, yes, the, the way you play them together is each player chooses their own leader and starts with a card from the appropriate deck, but then you play cards from either deck of your okay. choice. Okay. And in fact, there's negative point value cards in each game. Uh, it's the Dirty Red Menace in the Democratic game and the Dirty Capitalist Pig Dog in the Communist game. Okay. As you would. And uh, for their own decks, it's worth minus one million voters when you draw it, and you play it immediately and draw a card to replace it. But if you draw a Dirty Red Menace as a Communist leader, it's worth positive one million proletariat. That's right. And okay. Secret forces. <laughs> right in there. Okay. Thanks yeah. very much for the overview. Nice. Two tiny card games. Yes. Okay. Fate yeah. in your pocket. Most glorious combo. Thank you.